traffic to Europe will be tied up possibly for months, and divisive checkpoints on the Ireland-Northern Ireland border will be unavoidable. And these are not portrayed as worst-case scenarios, but rather the most likely ones. Terry Schultz reporting. An Iranian oil tanker detained for six weeks by British officials in Gibraltar has been released. British officials suspected it was illegally taking oil to Syria. The U.S. has tried to claim the tanker, but Gibraltar let it go, saying tanker officials said they wouldn't unload oil in Syria. It's NPR. A survey from the National Association of Business Economics says that of the economists it checked... Sometimes we need to find a balance from the busy world we live in day to day to a place where we can find answers, reconnect, learn, concentrate, grow, and find peaceful solitude. Escape to a place that seems frozen in time. This place for me is in the wild, with nature. And this is my story. This is my adventure. doing the Hillsboro Peak hike. It's only 8.9 miles. That's an in and out trek and that's total mileage. And I believe the, the elevation is just a little over 2,000 feet in a climb that I'm going to be doing. And uh, my plan is to take off and get back tomorrow by early afternoon, maybe midday. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to take my time, kind of explore this area, and uh, just play it safe. Because uh, since I'm by myself, I really got nobody to turn back to. There's no service out here. So, I wanted to add one more thing. Uh, I am taking off from a point called Emory Pass. And where Emory Pass got its name is uh, in 1846. A lieutenant by the name of W.H. Emory guided by Kit Carson, I believe, yeah, Kit Carson, led the Army of the West through the Black Range Mountains. This area, somewhere in here. So they call this area Emory Pass. And yeah, fun fact. Let's hit the trail. seeing smoke from this fire and how sad it was to watch this mountain range burn but coming back here six years later and seeing the wildlife and new growth that gave me hope sites there in the black range are beautiful and sad at the same time just to see how much damage a fire can do but beautiful because it's been six years since that fire and uh, there's so much new growth and it just it's lush in there
know what they call that mountain right there? They call that mountain Cross Old Mountain. Cross O Mountain. Cross Old Mountain. So, it's on the trail. And I came across some really fresh scat. Skitty scat. Poop, in other words. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say raccoon, but I could be wrong. Usually Wesley would have something, something to say about finding poop, fresh poop on the trail. So I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can ring Wesley. I got no service, but I'll use my telepathic mind power. Ugh! That's not the kind of log I wanted to find in nature. Well, that was a good word from Wesley. See? He's still part of the videos. Alright, so it's 11.10 a.m. right now. I took a taking a quick breather. It's about 75 degrees right now and uh, it's kind of hot up here because there's no shade if you could tell all the trees were burnt in that fire. So I'm uh, taking advantage of every little bit of shade I could find. Uh, I've gone 2.8 miles and I've also climbed an elevation of 1,500 feet. So I'm gonna be heading up that direction back there. It was a beautiful sight to see all the animals, from birds to insects, from reptiles to mammals, all the ones that were forced out six years ago due to the fire, were now back to call this place home. hike wasn't too bad for the first uh, mile and a half about well about hitting that two mile mark it, I started going uphill a lot more and started uh, becoming exhausted there took a break ate some lunch a uh, nice little area to eat some lunch then uh, from there that's when it started switchbacking and going up towards the Hillsboro Peak I made it to the top of Hillsboro Peak and there's the tower. <sighs> that was a rough one. Near the end, it got pretty steep. It feels good to be up here. I came up, came up to the top, and uh, the ranger, he said, uh, go ahead, you came this far, so I've climbed the tower, get the full 360, and well, here I am, full 360. Uh, right now, I'm standing in uh, one of the watchtowers 
on top of Hillsboro Peak. And uh, yeah, it's an honor. Can't wait to show my aunt and uncle this. I think they would really be, be impressed. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm gonna go down and find a place to camp and check out the other sites. Uh -huh.